Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon, my company Pac-Man Inc. Uh, starting back up here again. Um, today I am a little sick, that is why I sound a little nasally, I guess, and possibly a little quiet. Yeah, that guy sucks. <laughs> okay, new research available, casual games. I guess we're gonna get right into it. Oh yeah, last time we made Star Battle? I haven't played for a while. Uh, we got lots of monies. Uh, recent market data shows that the Govador G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. Alrighty. This unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Ooh, that is very true. That happened in real life. Because it's based off of real life. Alright. Can we research? Like, I'm just trying to get my head around what we're doing here. Okay. So... See if there's any contract work we can do. I think we could do that. Let's try that. Ooh, maybe not. I'm used to having like multiple people on this game, so maybe I won't. Oh yeah, I'll be good. All right, 80 grand. That's pretty nice. That's pretty good in the monies. All right, we got some more money. 13k. That's pretty good. And uh, do we want to research anything? Um, uh, we'll do a game dev. <laughs> I think it's around a good time to do a game de game dev game. Sorry, kind of snuffly here. <laughs> I might like lose my voice for no reason, because that happens a lot when you're sick, and it sucks nuts. Okay, I've got game dev tycoon or game <laughs> game or game dev, right? What did I get? What the heck am I doing? Game dev, yes. Okay, good. Quite nice. Should we research anything else? We got a lot of research points. We have enough money to sustain us for a little bit here. Maybe we... I feel like target audience would be good. Even though a game dev game could just be everything, but target audience would be a good thing to get, I think. Right, today Nintendo has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called Gameling. This device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen, and a green background. On a green background. Built-in speakers and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Cool. Compared to BCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLink is underpowered, but given the low, lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. GameLink is said to hit shells next month. Alright. So that's the Game Boy? Yeah, Game Boy. That's what it is. That's what it's based off of. I just realized there's like a Pong poster. 8 to 6. And the guy, that guy's winning. Um, you, you have successfully researched target audience. Nice. Let's make a new game. Oh yeah, so here we go. Now we got young, or yeah, what is it? Young, everyone, and mature. So now we can make, like, mature games, and more mature people would like them, I guess. So we could do, like, a mature, like, aliens game, or a mature post-apocalyptic game, or something like that. So we're gonna, But today we're going to do, or for now, we're going to do game dev for everyone, because everyone can do a little game dev. Um, and we're going to call it not... Game Dev Tycoon. There we go. And it will be a simulation. I think, right? Yeah. And should we do it for the Tez? What would it be good for? I feel like it would be good for the PC. Hmm. It has a pretty low market share, though, is the only thing. Let's try PC. We'll try PC. We'll try to go into PC more often now. And it'll be 2D graphics. We'll start researching. So... <laughs> Not Game Dev Tycoon. I guess I kind of took that from that not Star Wars whatsoever. Whatever. What? Okay, never mind. Uh, story slash quests will be low, I think. I think we want that really low. And we want the gameplay engine really high. Or maybe the engine can be a little lower. Because there's no stories and quests in Game Dev. Well, maybe there would be. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> this game, I'm just basing it off of this game, I guess. Um, this has some cool level design, I'd say. Um, the AI is really good, I'd say. I think that means you want lots of pluses, because it has pluses. Um, dialogue is really good as well, you'd want. Level design could be about as good as dialogue, I'd say. Uh, maybe dialogue could be a little higher, but that's what we put. Hopefully it does not screw us over. Uh, today, the, the new game platform Gameling has been by Ninvento has been released already. Okay, we got some bugs. We want basic sounds. Sound can be pretty low. Uh, we want graphics a little bit higher than world design, I'd say. Because world design really isn't that important. 
and sound can be even lower. There we go. Okay, we're almost done here, I think. On our first game of today. Alright, we gotta finish, fix the bugs. Fix the buggeroos. The little buggeroos. Okay, we got the little buggeroos. And, did we beat any records? Oh, we did. Sweet. We're almost level 3 on, like, a lot of stuff. Except for sound. Sound isn't that high, because I don't really use that much sound. Alright, is it going to be released? Okay. Our reviews have came in. Ooh, those are some high numbers I see. Ooh, wow. Okay, dang. An 8? A 9 or a 10? Or a 9? Dang. I made a good game. Holy poop. 7? This is going to get me a lot of money. And another 7. Wow. I think that's the best game I've made so far. That's really good. Holy crap. Um, let's, uh, not research. Let's do, a game report? What's the difference between a game report and a game history? I don't really- Oh, that's like the income and all that. Right? What's the difference? What did I- What am I doing? Game report. Hmm. We'll do one for Star Battle, and then we'll do one for, uh, Not Game Dev Tycoon. We got a lot of resources from- Research points from that. I think we almost gained our research points back from that target audience thing. Oh, come on. Don't scratch your head, man. I'm kind of just realizing the, like, layout of this guy's garage now. Alright, space and adventure is an okay combination, so it's not really that good. Engine seems to be not important for this type of game. Platform genre match, adventure and Tez is good. Or bad. No, it's bad. Oh, okay. Tez and everyone is good. Space and everyone is great. So now it's telling me the target audiences as well. And that is good to know. Okay, so I didn't know that. Um, with a growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for developer game developers to market their upcoming games. Marketing. New research available. Alright, we got good money on this so far. Like 30k? Actually, that's not as good as... Didn't we get 80k on not Star Wars? But it was really bad? What? I'm, I'm confused about that. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't 80k. I thought it was, though. Huh. I don't know. I'm kind of confused about that. Alright, let's see what we got for this one. Game dev and simulation is a great combination. AI seems to be very important for this type of game. And topic, audience, match. Game dev and everyone is great. Alright, that is good. Some good stuff. I think we'll research... Some marketing? Do we want to research marketing? I think so, because... <coughs> sorry. Um, you could put marketing into your, like, campaign for your games and then make it more popular. So if you know that it's going to be good, like, I knew that game dev would be pretty good. So I could put some marketing into it. Does cost 50k. Hmm. Maybe for now we'll just do game tutorials. It does cost more, actually. <laughs> I, never, I never saw that. Anyway. Game tutorials would be good because people would buy them more to figure out. Oh, we got 200 and, what did it say, 44k in sales. Oh, yeah, because it's like 244k in sales, and that other one was 80k in sales, but that number up there is how many games have been sold, not the money. Yeah, I never thought of that. The money's down below that. Okay, we got game tutorials. That's pretty good. Um, let's, can we research any new topics that might be cool? I know the virtual pet combination, you can get like a shite ton of money. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do that. You can get a lot, a lot of money. If you get the right combination on a virtual pet game. Um, if you have more than one million in cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. Oh, okay. This might sound a lot, but don't worry, once you release a hit game, you will do this amount easily. Okay. Vina, the creator of Master V console, has announced that Vina Gear, a portable console, to directly compete against the game link from Nintendo. Ninvento, not Nintendo. A spokesperson from the company said, Unlike similar devices on the market which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vina Gear is basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vina Gear also has a full color screen. Oh my gosh. This Will this device topple the game link? We will see. The Vina Gear will debut in two months. Alright, obviously it didn't, but as 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 history can tell. But whatever. It got close. Never mind. It didn't get any close. Alright, virtual pet game. It will be called I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Virtual pet. Um simulation, I think. And we'll do it for the game link. Oh yeah, game link, that would be really good. We'll buy 
a uh, license for that. And we will call it, oh yeah, and it'll be for young audiences, be little kids, and it will call it your, your best friend. That's not real. <laughs> that's good. I like that. I like that. All right. Your best friend. That's their, that's their theme song. That's their catchphrase. Your best friend. That's not real. Oh, I didn't put the S. I didn't put the apostrophe S. Poop. Whatever. That not real. <laughs> That's even better, actually. Um, okay, story and quests can be pretty high or about me. Same with the engine, I'd say. The gameplay can be about there. Okay. I want to get this good, because if I mess this up, I can't really do it over again. You know, like, once you mess up, like, a set of games like this, uh, like, this is a good, really good combination. If you mess that up once, it's kind of hard to do it over, because the people are like, well, you already did one, and it was really bad, so why would you, why would you do it again? Okay, so level design would probably be pretty high, but AI definitely want to be really, really high because you want your best friend to be as real as possible. I'm kind of thinking of like a Tomagotchi sort of thing for the for the Game Boy, <laughs> Gameling. <laughs> um, I think that'd be good. I think that'd be a good combo. I don't really know if you need dialogue to play with a pet because they don't really talk that much. So, but I guess for coding, it would be like non-language um, dialogue, anyway, I don't know, <laughs> okay, world design could be pretty low, and sound could be pretty high, because it's for kids, and they like sounds, I think, uh, today the new game platform Vita Gear by Vina has been released, cool, cool, I don't care, I'm never, I don't think I'm gonna put my money into that at all, because it will probably die out in a few years or months, from my guess, oh, I got a new record on that, didn't I get a new record on that before, and it was 14, I don't know, all right, level three on a lot of things. That's really good. All right, new resources available. Better user experience. Oh, that would be good. Level editor and open world. Oh, yeah. Oh, all these would be really good. Open world would be really good, actually. Maybe we should research that. We'll see how much it is. Oh, why won't it let me press OK? OK, there we go. See our reviews on this. Are they going to come in? <laughs> Your best friend. That's not real. All right, the numbers are pretty high. Ooh, a 10. Oh, my first 10. I think. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's my first 10. Best of its kind. 9. 10. I mean, 8. 10. And another 10. Heck yeah, boy! Heck yeah! Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be rolling in the cash, man. I'm gonna be rolling in the dough. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh, look at that number. Your best friend. It's not real. Has achieved a company sales record with over 50k you have sold. This is an important milestone in history. Yes! Oh, six. Oh my god, I almost have a million dollars right now. Oh my god! Has achieved a rank with over 100k units sold. This is an important milestone. I hit two milestones, and I have made quite a name for myself. And I can grow my company further because I reached 1.5 mil. I only have to pay 150k? Heck yeah, I'll move! Oh my god. My new office. <laughs> now that you have a bare office, you can also hire staff of the world which, and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Oh my god. That's pretty cool, man. Alright. Well, uh... I'm gonna research something. Or Let's generate a game report for your best friend. That's not real. I'm gonna say that every time. And hopefully I remember the jingle. Um, according to our market research, a recently published game, Your Best Friend, That's Not Real... It's a surprise hit with players. Your developer Pac-Man is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Sweet. Look at the, all the cash. I Literally, at the, oh my god. Two months of G4, 64 would take, I don't care. Uh, I started with 200k and now I have 2.3 mil, boys. The post-release analysis of your best friend is not real. It's complete. Virtual pet and simulation is a great combination. Stories and quests seem to be not very important for this type of game. Okay, I don't remember what I put it at, but uh, platformer, genre, mask, gambling. So simulation is good. Yes, it's not great, but it's good. Look at all the sales. Rank 16. I don't know if that's good or not. 17. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, I'm just rolling in the cash. Okay, well I'm gonna end it here because I can't really talk too much because I'm sick. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. We have a lot of money. We can hire a person next time. Ooh, let's see what it says. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as government has filled file for bankruptcy. Oh, dang. 
Governor failed to introduce a higher price alternative and was forced to shut down production of G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. Oh, jeez. Okay, so before anything else happens, I hope you all enjoyed. Oh, it's off the market already? 2.7 mil, boys. Let's go. Okay, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And follow me on the good stuffs. And I will see you in the next one. Oh my god, so much stuff. Alright. See ya in the next one. Bye!